Here is question 3b, part 3. So here's our question. Discuss one limitation of the model um, that you use to obtain your probability estimate. So when they talk about limitations, we often go back to the assumptions of the model. All right. So that's a quite a good one to go back to. So we've got two, well, I've got two main um assumptions that we can talk about and then we've also kind of think about other variables that could be affecting it um, and all of those kind of ideas. So one limitation we're going to start with the idea of independence. Okay now what are we talking about the independence between? So we need to think about what the two variables are. So when we think back to the, what we've just covered, the two variables that we've talked about are whether it, um, how long it takes to come through in the mail versus how long it takes them to use the vouchers. Okay, so that's what we're talking about, the independence between. So we're assuming that the length of time it takes to come in the mail is independent from the time it takes to use that we use the vouchers. Now let's just think about this and in this particular case I'm actually going to argue that this may not be valid. Okay, It may not be a reasonable thing to assume that there is independence between these two events. Because for example it may be that people that use it um, within that get the in the mail after three days, they might actually be less likely to use it, because it might be that they've got a busy week ahead, um, and something's on. They've got something coming up on the weekend, and they know they're not going to get a chance to get to the shops this weekend. Okay, so what we've got is that here's our example: is people that um, get the voucher. three days um, in the mail may be less likely to use the voucher than people who get it after one day. Okay, so there's one idea. Let's have a look at and think about another idea. Let's think about a real life example now. Let's think about the mail in New Zealand. Okay, so how often does mail get delivered in New Zealand at the moment? Well, they've recently, um, earlier this year, changed the mail. It used to get delivered every day, Monday through Saturday. And so it would make sense to talk about one day, two days, three days. However, now that's actually changed. New Zealand Post now only deliver on three days per week. Okay, so everyone gets their mail every second day other than excluding Sunday. So it might be that you get it on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Or you could get it on Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. Okay, so that would change this whole model completely because we can't talk about the chance of using the voucher within 10 days and the probability of having it in the mail in one day or three days because we're only going to either get it one day or three days or we get it on two days depending on our particular mail delivery schedule. All right, so I want you, I, I'm not going to write this all out in detail, but that's the key idea that you would need to explain to me. So that's the second possibility. Um, another one that's kind of related to what we've just been talking about is um, there is an assumption that the probabilities um, remain 
the same. Okay, it'll stay constant. So it wouldn't matter whether I'm talking about 10 days in the month of January, in February, December, April. Wouldn't matter about any of that, but we would assume that those probabilities would stay the same. Now that may not actually be true for some months of the year. If they're running, for example, a big June special, then it may be that there's, the people are more likely to use those vouchers in the month of June because there's a great big special on at the supermarket, so they want to get extra special deals. Um, so different times of the year, different months, whether there's a long weekend versus a public holiday versus just a regular working week, that could make it very different into the chance of how many days um, those vouchers are used within. It also means that when they've changed those vouchers, so in this case they've introduced, it used to be that they could take as long as they like to use the vouchers, uh, well I think up to 15 days I think it was, but now they have changed that um, to limit to 10 days. So the probabilities that they've given us in the table, those probabilities um, are for using it within 15 days. And so those probabilities may actually change now that they want to introduce the system of doing it within 10 days. So that assumption that probabilities remain the same would not be valid for this particular one. So those are three examples of the kind of limitations that you can talk about. Okay.